I started playing this game on March 31, 2016. Back then I was in 6th grade, just a little child. I was an innocent little child with lots of energy. In school, one of my friends recommended me this cool game with geometrical stuff in which you have to tap to jump and to avoid the spikes. At first, I was a bit skeptical about it. But after I've seen some gameplay from his phone at school, it got me thinking. Hmm. Currently I don't have many games to play and I'm getting bored quite often, so why not give it a shot? And I did. And that's where the journey started. Firstly, I was struggling with the third level being polargeist. It was a bit mind-boggling for me at first because of the orb mechanic. The fact that I had to press again mid-air. I don't know why but that gave me trouble at first. Then I started playing like 4 to 6 hours a day and at school as well. Me and my colleagues used to challenge ourselves beating certain levels or trying to make new bests at main levels. For that time being, my hardest was time machine and cycles. And I was stuck at X step. So, I used to do runs here and there with them on the hallway and it was that one time where I got far to like the 80% ball and everyone was in shock. Unfortunately I died right after. Back then we didn't use practice at all because we were dumb well, well. but their reactions kept me going. So I've beaten it next attempt and they jumped in shock and joy screaming yeah dude congrats gg I cannot believe with my eyes and of course I joined them. I remember that after two days I started doing clutter funk and beaten it in the same day. I was stunned and didn't have any words. Many of my friends were struggling with it and cursing the hell out of it while I've done it in one day. Damn. They were mad jealous and astonished. There have been awesome times back in 2016 and 2017. While in school, fast forwarding mid 2017 to 2018, I've beaten my first demon, which was the nightmare. I couldn't believe my eyes. It was a dream come true, beating my first ever demon and oh boy at school I was praised. I also remember that one of my friends had beaten Clubstep and that was a really big deal because Clubstep cannot be compared to the Nightmare though. Coming after, I've gotten quite bored of the game and stalled for a whole year and a half. In 2019, right around June, when the summer vacation started, I also began playing again, but with a totally different mindset. I was prepared and motivated. My goal was to beat the entirety of the main levels, with my hardest being the Nightmare. <laughs> Well then, I started with Electrodynamics, because that one was the, one of the hardest insane levels in the main list that I couldn't beat before. It was just too hard for me at the time I dropped the game. When I got into it, I finally began using practice, and really really helped. I beaten the level in just 4 days, that was insanely good progress for the time being. Then I hopped into Hexagon Force, I couldn't beat that one because my little 10 IQ child brain couldn't freaking understand a duel. The fact that I had to press a little shorter than a normal creek jump, otherwise the other one would start jumping at the wrong time? Yeah. After many attempts, right around 3000 or so, 6 days much practice, I did want that one as well. It really gave me a headache, not gonna lie. It was my first time being introduced into dual gameplay and I hated it. But now, the real challenge was upon me. The only ones remained the demons. I was so afraid to doing them because I thought they were absolutely humanly impossible to do. Even though I started playing them. I don't know why, but I started with Theory of Everything too. Big mistake. I didn't know what I was thinking back then. After lots of rages and breakdowns, two weeks, I beaten my first ever main levels demon. I was so pleased. The ship at 70% or so really kicked me hard. Not gonna lie. That's why I couldn't complete the level in like one week at maximum. And that's why it was a big mistake. And an even bigger mistake of mine, I went right to deadlocked after that. It being a medium demon, it was quite challenging and unforgiving for a level. The main surprise here is that it took me only 5000 attempts in one week only. The progress from Theory of Everything 2 really showed there for you. After those two I only had one left and that was club step. I wasn't that scared of it to be honest, having both Theory of Everything 2 and Dead Locked under my belt shouldn't be that big of a problem. And it really wasn't, only 3 to 4 days and 3000 attempts I think it was. And with all those done, the main list was complete. I could begin my journey deeper into the community levels. As you know on my channel, I've completed God Eater when it came out and also Hey Rob rate this by Danceman. Yeah, I really was a big Danceman fan if you didn't know this. 
In late 2019, after all this fuss happened and the huge progress I've done in the game, I became bored again and dropped GD once again for only one year this time. And when I came back, I already started my biggest achievement at that time. Nine circles. My first ever hard demon, with no medium demons beaten. Only like 5 to 6 easy demons without the main list ones. I wasn't prepared at all, but I had hope and determination. It took me 1 month and over 10k attempts, with many practice and the last cube death. I was so pleased and grateful with my skill. I only dreamed of doing it alongside my colleagues watching other people beating it in 2016. I couldn't comprehend what I've just done. It was another dream come true and a big milestone in my GD career once again. After just a couple of days, I already began practicing my new hardest. Eight of Bisobers. Insane demon difficulty. Terrible choice if you ask me. I'm still regretting it nowadays. It took me a whopping one year to beat that level. After many frustrations, rages, breakdowns, pauses from the game, I managed to do it. With a lot. And when I say a lot, I really mean it. 30 plus fails at 80% plus. 12 fails at 90% plus. And the most devastating one a triple spike death. I was shook. I couldn't move my hands nor my body. The world had fallen on my head. It was truly horrible. I can't tell you in words how much I've managed to struggle with the level. And it really wasn't a level meant to be beaten as a first insane because how oddly specific you have to be to beat it. No attempt was the same as the other from past 42%. But with all that, I did it. And I freaking screamed hard of relief. And since 4 months ago, I'm still playing this game and I hope I can create my first complete level, worthy of a feature with good gameplay and stuff. I'm currently working on it and I hope you like it. Anyways, now let's get to the main purpose of this video. After many levels done in the process, including 5 insane demons, 4 hard demons, only 2 medium demons and many easy demons, 6 2016, I struggled with this game and here I am. I should have been way farther into the extreme demon difficulties, maybe in the main list. But even though, here I am, and today I present to you my first ever extreme demon completion that I always dreamed of and also my actual favorite level in the game, Hypersonic by Viprin and more. Thank you all so much for sticking with me. I love y'all with all my heart and I wish you the best.